Hello everyone and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 discussion video. In this video I am going to be giving a review slash overall thoughts that I had of Combat League Season 1 which concluded a couple of days ago. So yeah, Combat League is done. We are now back to just having regular rank sets uh, instead of uh, ranked rank sets, the best way to call them. Yeah, Combat League was really fun. Honestly, I had a blast. It wasn't the longest, or it didn't seem to be the longest. Uh, one of the reasons was I was away for a week, so I wanted to get to a higher rank. I ended up in Grandmaster, almost at Demigod, I think that was the next one. Uh, I think my rank was like 2200 or something like that. Yeah, I wanted to play more, I wanted to get higher, but I just, I just didn't have the time. It's gonna happen, whatever. But yeah, overall, I had an incredibly positive experience with Combat League. I think they should definitely keep doing it. I don't know. Maybe down the line, they should implement a permanent rank system once they kind of iron out all the kings, because there were some kings, and we're gonna talk about the issues I had. But before we get into that, let's get into the positives. So, one of the biggest issues that I think Combat League fixes and this is an issue that stretches all the way back to MK9, if I remember correctly. I mean, I wasn't the biggest MK9 player, but since MKX, this was definitely a big issue. That there was absolutely zero incentive to play ranked matches. Now, of course, the older games, ranked matches used to be one and done, which was even worse. They finally fixed that with Injustice 2. Now, with MK11 and Combat League, they fixed the second biggest issue which is the lack of incentive. I mean, the rank systems and the reason why pretty much every fighting game has some sort of like rank division is because they give great visual feedback to the player. You know, you get your new rank, you can see your points, even if you lose, you know, there's some type of like visual feedback, which is very important actually, you know, in terms of motivating and incentivizing the player. Like, if you look at a game like Tekken, you know, shooting for a green rank or shooting for a purple rank, I think that's the one above, I don't remember. But, you know, shooting for those new ranks and the new rank names, they're definitely something that motivates people. And finally, MK11 or MK has something like that as well. I mean, you could really tell. I went into competitive player matches a couple of times while Combat League was still going on. And it was basically a wasteland. You could really tell that most of the people finally moved to playing ranked. And, you know, people stuck to competitive player matches more to practice new characters and stuff like that. Because that's how it should be. I mean, Mortal Kombat X, I almost never played rank or I tried to stay away from it. Combat League actually made me want to stick to ranked mode, so I really think that this should be a permanent feature, uh, and I hope they release the next Combat League as soon as they can. Other than that, I think the other thing they really, really got right was the rewards system. I think the rewards were really well implemented in that even players who weren't the best at the game, or maybe are new, cannot get to a higher rank, even those people were able to get some or most of the rewards that were available for the Combat League. Sure, the higher tier rewards, of course, they're not gonna get them, but you still had incentive to play. Again, it wasn't like if you're a bad player, you just like cannot get anything. So again, in terms of motivating and visual feedback for the players, it was very, very well implemented. However, as I mentioned, there were some faults. And again, I'm specifically focusing in this video for Combat League, you know, not talking about balance, not talking about general gameplay, just the implementation of Combat League. So there were some minor issues. Let's go ahead and discuss them. The first issue I found, and this was probably the biggest issue for me, is the lack of any sort of meaningful filtering for connections. Especially now that this game is still popular and it's hopefully gonna continue to be popular uh, a lot of people are playing and it's not like this game is fighting ex layer where there's like three people online and it's not smart to have any sort of filters on nrs could easily implement some type of connection filter and something that i would really like to see is a wi-fi filter again i've made a video on this simply put 
Wi-Fi players, 90% of them have absolute ass connection. They are unstable, they lag, they stutter, especially in a mode where there are ranks on the line, there are points on the line, which, you know, people say it doesn't matter, but, you know, on some level, it does matter. Uh, losing to some bullshit is never fun. R losing to a rage quitter is never fun, especially in a bad connection. It really gets the salt flowing, so... Having some sort of meaningful filter for connections is really something that I think needs to be implemented. The second thing I would really like to see is some type of way to prevent people from being punished for the game desyncing. So basically how it works is that you lose points if your game desyncs. However, the servers are not always stable. So it happened to me a couple of times as well. It was really frustrating and yeah, it's just something that needs to be fixed. I know why it's there, because people, what they tend to do is, is that they pull their plug, and that's how they disconnect, and there's probably some way to differentiate, I don't know. But having, but losing points because of a server issue, or something that's on the opponent's side or on the game side is really, really annoying. The next thing I would really like to see is a little bit better matchmaking in terms of matching rankings. I mean, I was already in the master rank, closing on Grandmaster, and I was still getting matched against people who were in the apprentice rank. So that's bad for two reasons. First of all, if I lose because people are playing on Smurf accounts or somebody is very good and they're just starting out, uh, I'm gonna lose a shit ton of points. If the player is bad, he's going to be extremely discouraged uh, in being mashed against people who are way, way out of his skill gap. And weirdly, it only seems to happen to poor apprentices. Like, once I got to Grandmaster, I like never got mashed against god or demigod ranked players. Although I have heard people reporting that that can still happen. And you can lose like 1-200 points very, very easily within a short span of time. Speaking of points and rankings, if they continue with this format or if they implement a permanent ranked system, I really think there needs to be a few more divisions. Just in terms of thinking about it, uh, someone getting into master and someone being almost grandmaster, they're going to be at different levels. I think in terms of ranked, uh, Street Fighter does it pretty well in that each ranking also is divided into three parts and there is like, you know, for example, there's Diamond, Super Diamond and Ultra Diamond. I think there was, if there was some like differentiation, especially if they implement a permanent rank system, it would really help just to, you know, again, correctly match people against people with their own skill levels. But really, that's about it. I think most of the issues with Combat League are very minor, just in terms of connections and filtering. One more thing I would really like to see is maybe uh, allow you to decline more matches in in terms of the connection being bad. The cap is set at quite high, so the game will only let you decline like, like truly bad connections, which can be an issue, especially with Wi-Fi players, uh, where the game thinks their connection is good, but the ping is just like out of this world. But what can you do? Still, overall, Season 1 went very well. Definitely gonna think they're continuing, hope they're continuing, and I would like to see this become a full feature, a permanent feature. Hopefully they're just testing the waters with these seasons and we will get a proper rank system in the game, finally, after fucking, I don't know, like four years since MKX came out. So yeah, really positive overall, season one was fun, did you guys play it? Uh, what rank did you get to? Uh, what was your experience like? Let me know in the comments. As always, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching and goodbye.